All right, it was a huge upset in the Olympics with the U.S. men's hockey team beating Canada last night. And today, hockey is very much a hot topic all over the country. But for a local group of women, lacing up the skates and grabbing a hockey stick is a hot topic every single day. And News R16's Alex Drew in the studio. He has more tonight on Hockey Moms. When you hear the term hockey mom, chances are you think of a mom in a minivan, Bluetooth in her ear, and coffee cup in hand, lugging kids to practice day after day. But for a group of players on the Eugene women's hockey team, that's far from the truth, and they're helping redefine the term hockey mom. One, two, three, win! Mask on, stick in hand, just another hockey player out on the ice. And I'm not the, the most competitive player on the team, but, but it brings out the most competitive part of me. But all the members of the Eugene Extreme Hockey Team are women. We add a nice dimension to the league. It's nice to have the ladies out there. These are my best girlfriends. And a number of them are also moms. Moms of hockey players to be specific because that's how many of them first got on the ice. Pretty soon uh, the moms decided they didn't want to stand around. They wanted to play. Coach said one day, you know, I'm going to teach you moms how to play hockey you don't, so you're not just standing around. Jersey numbers are special in hockey. No difference here. Allison Carr and Kelly Hayes wear the age they were when they first laced up the skates and became part of a team sport for the first time. There's not that many sports that you can actually pick up as an adult and grow and learn and excel at. I knew nothing about hockey. I knew nothing about hockey. I grew up in Eugene. We didn't have hockey and we don't have frozen ponds. Ten years later, at 58, Allison's the extreme's oldest player. I just hung in there because it was so much fun. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have stuck with it if it wasn't as much fun as it is. Fun's also what keeps Ruth Builder driving. Not the length of the ice, but round trip from Roseburg as her two hockey crazy boys grew up. When my kids were playing, it was four to five, four to five times a week. Yeah, a lot. We put we put um, uh, probably 5,000 miles a, a month on our cars while the kids were playing. And it keeps her driving round trip now. I wish I would have started when I was a kid. Michelle Friesen's drive from Corvallis is a little shorter, but she's involved in hockey on all levels. As a coach, mom, wife, a roller hockey player for almost 20 years, and now on the ice herself. This season, both my husband and I decided that we were going to play hockey regardless of the extra trip because we had essentially been making so many trips anyway we we're like okay one more trip for us to play not a problem at all it's just one reason these hockey moms will get on the ice it's been mostly just supporting the kids supporting the kids supporting the kids and for me i like doing both i like to play i like to get in there and and be active it beats the treadmill i'm not real disciplined and if i want to play hockey i've got to work out or i can't keep up uh, with these younger ones but it goes way beyond that i love being part of a team I never had that opportunity in high school. And that opportunity is here and now. Because once that mask goes on and the stick hits the ice, age doesn't matter. You're not going to, at an advanced age, pick up basketball and you know join a league. And There's not that many sports that you can. And hockey is one of them. Let's go, Green! Let's go! Start as soon as you can because you're going to love it. And the, long, the sooner you start, the longer you can play. For more about the Eugene Extreme, we've put a link at our website, kmtr.com. And don't worry if you've never picked up a stick before. If you're willing to learn, they're all willing to help. Renee, I am talking to you right now. Anyway, the Extreme practice and play at the Lane County Ice Center at the fairgrounds. The Ice Center is open for public skate pretty much every day of the week with a drop-in hockey session for players of all levels on Wednesdays. Now back to the desk. It does